you can pick heads or tails, right? That would be the positive expected value bet. And that's completely correct. But you can actually make this a little more mathematical is let's say we're flipping a coin with a friend for $100. The coin is 55% to show up on heads. So it's more likely to show up on heads. You may lose a few times in a row, right? That coin can still show up on tails three times in a row, but you know, over the course of the long run, betting on heads, that's the more likely outcome that you are going to make money. So what's the expected value of each $100 bet? Well, it's pretty simple. So 55% of the time, you're gonna make $100, the coin is gonna show up on heads. The other 45% of the time, the coin's gonna show up on tails and you're gonna lose $100. So what you can do is set up a little expected value equation, which is really simple, which is simply 55% of the time, you're gonna win 100 bucks, 45% of the time you lose 100 bucks. And if you work out the math, you'll see that the expected value of every $100 bet of every coin flip is 